In this video, we're going to take a look at some curious circular features that have been spotted in the Bahamas. Is this evidence of a lost civilization, or are we just seeing geological structures? We will weigh all the evidence and look for archaeological precedent as we investigate hidden signs of the ancients. I have been searching for lost ruins in the Bahamas for many years and have seen numerous anomalies all over the Bahama Bank. The Bahama Bank is a shallow area off the coast of Andres Island and the Bahamas Islands. Very long linear features can be found on the Bahama Bank in shallow water on older Landsat satellite imagery acquired by NASA. This imagery was made available to the public in the late 1990s on an older program called NASA Worldwind. The linear features are in remote locations which suggest if they are artificial, they are probably very ancient. The lines lead directly to areas that resemble larger circular features that may be lost prehistoric settlement locations. Here you can see several examples of these circular areas on the older Landsat imagery. Unfortunately, the resolution is quite low, so it's difficult to make out details. The search continued to Google Earth imagery. Only recently have I spotted some very large circular formations that are just plain strange. Let's take a brief look at some of the circles with Google Earth. The first circle that we see is over 223 feet in diameter. The second circle is over 332 feet in diameter. This particular feature has structures around the edges or perimeter that look like circular features which could be smaller habitation sites like Iron Age roundhouses in the United Kingdom. The roundhouses found in the UK are 30 to 60 feet, sometimes more in diameter, and were built with a circular stone foundation, wooden posts, wooden beams, and thatched roofs. But hold on, let's try to understand why these features are just now popping up in Google Earth. Google Earth databases are updated frequently and the imagery from the Bahamas has been low resolution since around 2007. The shifting sands as well as the old Google Earth database seems to have concealed these sites on the landscape and perhaps this is why they have remained hidden from modern exploration. This leads me to believe these large circles are human-made or man-made features. Are we seeing evidence for remnants of a lost civilization in the Bahamas? Are the circles a sign of a culture similar to the stories of the lost city of Atlantis in the Bahamas? Rumors of lost civilizations in the Bahamas were proliferated by the famous psychic Edgar Cayce. He was born in March 1877 and he would go into a strange trance-like dream state where he would channel information that was recorded and written down. His many channelings on the lost civilization of Atlantis became quite famous later on after his death in 1945. I will talk more about Casey later on, but for now, let's take a look at a few more circles in the Bahamas. This circular structure sits in shallow water and is 641 feet in diameter with more smaller round structures along the upper left side. The round structures along the upper left side are approximately 90 feet in diameter with smaller structures suggesting these were houses and potentially rooms similar to roundhouse sites in the UK. Circular animal pens are used in many ancient cultures and were created by piling stones up into small walls around 4 feet tall. Some prehistoric cultures like those in Peru created these animal pen walls by using mud brick instead of stones, and a lot of the mud brick has since melted. Another circular site in the Bahamas here is over 500 feet in diameter, and it also contains a smaller circular feature in its northeastern corner that is approximately 75 feet in diameter. So moving on to the next circle has a diameter of 735 feet, and any structure inside seems to be buried under the sand, although the footprint of this circle is very similar to the others, which is why I wanted to show it to you. It's definitely appearing to be an enclosure type of structure. 
Now I want to talk about some older findings dating back to the 1970s that appeared in the Bahamas. In Charles Berlitz's book, Mysteries from Forgotten Worlds, Chapter 7, Sunken Cities Off the American Coast, he highlights some fantastic finds. On the photographic insert after page 134, there is a photo of a circular formation that Charles believed to be a part of a prehistoric civilization perhaps thousands of years old. He also stated that many of these constructions were outlined by beach grass and sponges near the water surface, and many were divided into several sections by stone partitions, just like what we're seeing in the circular features here. He stated, quote, The vestigial walls continue down on beneath the sand, and the flooring, if any, has not yet been found, end quote. Charles's information and my own personal satellite imagery studies does suggest that these circular features could continue down into the sand perhaps five, ten feet. We just don't really know. The storms that come through and the shifting sands after thousands of years, it could be completely buried. Now let me return to Casey a little bit and let's talk about him a little more. A lot of his predictions did not come true. But his information on Atlantis became quite popular in the 1970s along with Charles Berlitz's research. As explorers searched the Bahamas relentlessly to find any evidence of a lost civilization. Although nothing major was really found, there have been some strange reports of lost pyramids under the water close by and most famously the discovery of a unique set of stones off the Bimini Island in shallow water called the Bimini Road. This feature has been very controversial, not only with archaeologists, but also with explorers. In my satellite imagery travels, it has come to a point now that I do think there is some merit to the theory that the Bimini Road was actually a human-made construction. My friend Bill Donato, who is an archaeologist, conducted side-scan surveys near Bimini in deeper water, and he found what he believed to be a possible terrace structure, almost like a stepped pyramid or temple. Images of the side scan sonar can be seen here and look like the features are amazing constructions. This information is absolutely fabulous. The only problem is the site is in deeper water and it can be difficult to secure funding for research like this. Let's take a look once again at the circles in the Bahamas. The sites are primarily in shallow water off the coast of Andros Island, but is it possible that some of the same features can be seen on land? If we take a look at Andros Island, we begin to see that it is completely covered and pockmarked with circular formations. This particular circular feature on land is over 680 feet in diameter, and if you look very closely, you can see there are actually linear features underneath the water here. What are these linear features? Could this be some type of agricultural attempt? The next formation is again right on Andros Island. And if you look very closely, you'll see rectilinear features, circular features, features that look very man-made. The smaller circular features that you see to the north have rectilinear angles and they're approximately 35 feet to over 50 feet in width. This would be the perfect size for any type of dwelling. I had always thought these circular formations were the result of perhaps a meteoritic event or just the results of natural geological phenomena. Now with the discovery of these features underwater, I'm having to rethink my preconceived notions and consider that what we may be looking at here actually is remnants of a lost civilization. Let's examine one last circular feature, and this was actually the first circular feature that I found close to Andros Island. This one is also in shallow water and measures over 200 feet in diameter. This may be one of the exact features that Charles Berlitz photographed for his book as they flew over the Bahamas area in the 1970s. Some people would say these features are completely natural and the sponges and grass are just growing on them because they are raised areas. I've even heard that schools of fish could create these large circles, but I just don't buy that, not with this new satellite imaging data. The only problem is this area is very remote. If it was possible to get some boots on the ground, I think that what we would find are buried stones or mud brick, and the sponges and grasses are growing on this material, which happens at many archaeological sites. As we can see on land, moss loves to grow on stone. It creates an area for spores and seeds to naturally adhere to. 
This video is the first in a series of videos about circular formations that I have been following and looking at all over the globe and how they're related. Part two of this video, we're going to go to the United Kingdom and we're going to look at the English and Scottish countryside where very large circular enclosures can be seen with Google Earth that are of amazing proportions. Many of these have been studied by archaeologists over the years, and they believe they are Iron Age, but some of the earthen bearers may be even older. Are we seeing signs of a lost civilization here that may have a connection in the Bahamas? Please leave your comments in the comments section, and also check out the description where I've posted GPS coordinates of all of the circle sites. Please click the like, notify, or subscribe button to be informed of part two of this video series.